The following program is also presented with described video for the visually impaired. skate on the table, Mom. Oh, hey, Coach Halder. I heard you've got the spiciest chicken in the food court here. Do you want ridiculously spicy or insanely hot? Call me crazy, but I'll take the insane one. <laughs> get it? Get it? You sure about this, dude? It's pretty hot. Bring it on, wet nap. I love it. chest i'll take two more you got it dude and these are on the house that was awesome <laughs> Who woke up? Didn't I see you napping on the job back there? Long night, brah. Up until 4 a.m. What? I was only two hours late. Have you actually sold anything today? I served someone. Oh, and now? Now I'm on my break. I'm gonna go back to work as soon as I grab a little nap. You know, there's such a thing as too laid back. Did anybody see that? See what? The really freaky dude who just walked by? I didn't see anything. Hmm. I think you need to get some more sleep, Jude. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. You know, the human brain needs at least seven hours of sleep. And in your case, maybe more. Why do you think I was taking a nap? <gasps> Have you ever thought of, oh, ah! not staying up all night? Sure, but then I'd miss all those wicked B-movies. Yeah, that's why they have a little thing called DVD. What are you guys staring at? You mean, you don't know? Oh, you mean this? Ah, oh, whatever. It's just a little zit. I've never seen one that big before. Well, it's not that big. Dude, it's big. I knew it. My mom said nobody would notice it. <laughs> yeah, right. Caitlin, you know about this stuff. Help me out. Okay, but I don't know if what I have on me is strong enough. Wait a minute. Well, from back here, I can kind of not see it. I can't go around like this. I've never had a zip before. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. So, want to catch an afternoon movie? Sure. I was thinking that we... <sighs> Hold on a sec. I'll be right with you. So, how about we see... <sighs> okay, okay, here. Hey! You forgot to pay me! Three words. Spray on tan. That girl needs some color. I'd better get going too. Catch you later, cutie. Okay, later. <sighs> hey, Jude, I think Star is waving at you. <laughs> Ow, Ooh, that 
had to hurt. Hey. What are you doing, man? What do you mean? I mean, why are you sitting here with us when she's over there? I have a strategy. I'm waiting for her to come to me. See? This is what I mean about you being too chilled out for your own good. She's right. You'll never get her back if you don't make a move. You did puke in her mouth, man. I'm just afraid she'll reject me again. Fine. Be a loser with no date. I've got to go to my new job. So then it is true. You took the job at Not Quite Naked? Yes, yeah, so? Selling fine lingerie is a perfectly respectable job. I know about the peephole in the change room. I resent that accusation. That hole is only urban legend. Dude, you said you saw it. Shh, I did. But if everyone finds out, they'll patch it up. Jonesy, you can't work there. Staring at women while they change is a total violation of privacy. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey. Dude, what a view. This is awesome. Wait, here comes someone. Jackpot. <laughs> Jonesy, this is insane. You can't do this. Dude, I'm not going to see anything I haven't seen before. Hmm. Cleverly rationalized. I guess as long as, you know, you tell me everything, I'll be able to let you know if you're going over the line. Okay, she's blonde, hot, and she's taking off her coat. Now her sweater. Want me to keep going? Yes. Okay. I've got some jean unbuttoning action. Yes. Jean's definitely coming off. Ah! I, I was just, um, uh, testing what it felt like to wear a bra. So I could help the customers better. <laughs> Whew. Did you hear all that? <laughs> you are a bad, bad man. <sighs> Jonesy, gotta go. Hey, man, are you okay? Are you sick or something? Hmm. hmm. Hey, Serena. What's up with Chad? Okay, then. I can see you guys are in a bad mood. That's cool. I think I'll take another break. Come on, Nikki. Just trade us next weekend for the weekend after. Hmm. Let me think about it. Uh-uh. What difference does it make? Oh, yeah. That's right. I don't hang with football players, so I have no life. That's what we thought, too. Ugh, go bother someone else. <gasps> We'll be back. Welcome to the khaki barn. What's up, girlfriend? Hey, where's Caitlin? I don't know, but I'm dying of thirst here. It was pretty hot in that change room, if you know what I'm saying, huh? No doubt. Hey, I think something's wrong with Chad and Serena. Yeah, they're together and you and Serena aren't. I know, dude. If you need a reason not to like the guy, I've got a good one. She dumped you for him. However, I do know what will make you feel better. Wonder Taco! All right, but I'm telling you, something weird's going on in there. <laughs> oh, dude, it's just the taco chick. <sighs> just kidding, Julie. You know we love you. Deuce tacos, por favor. It's Nikki, staring at girls through change room doors, blah, blah, blah. Might want to brush that grill. Hold this. Nikki, mind your own business, or I'll tell everyone at school how bad your feet stink. Thanks. So if everyone knows about this peephole in the change room, why doesn't every guy apply there? They do, but they almost never let guys work there. How'd you get the job, then? I told them I was gay. Smart. I've got to hand it to you, Jonesy. You really know... <laughs> that finger was in your taco! Oh, that's disgusting! Whose is it? Does it matter? It's a dead finger, dude! Do you get the feeling something weird is going on here? I'm starting to, yeah. Guess what Talon did yesterday? What? He called just to say goodnight. Oh, he is so incredibly sweet. How did it get this big? When I went to bed last night, it wasn't even there. Uh, it's not that bad. Masterson! Ah! What's that thing on your face? Nothing. 
Just a little zit. Little? Why, that's a champion zit you've got there. Hey, Dobbs! Check this out! This is the MVP of sets right here! Yeah! Coach, you're embarrassing me. See? Charlie didn't even notice it. Dobbs! Over here! You've got to see this pimple, son! It's a gipper! So, I really think Talon's like, the one. <laughs> Wonder what we'll name our kids. Ugh! Oh. How can I help you, dude? Dude, if you're gonna order something, just tell me. About the new cheesy fish stick it. Oh, dude, if you're that hungry, why didn't you just say so? Try these. Okay, sheesh. Harsh in my mellow, bro. Dude, drop whatever you are doing and get down to not quite naked. Be there pronto. I've got the best job on the planet. Ah, what is that? Ah! What's going on? There's something in there. Coming, dude! Ah! Ah! Wait, you can't go in there. It's okay. We're gay. I'll explain later. Help! <laughs> Get him off me, guys! That ought to hold him for a while. Okay, he totally ruined the people. That dude's going to pay. We've got to warn the girls. Have you guys noticed that the customers seem pushier today? Yeah, they're pastier too. And they're not really paying. Hello, zits are us. Okay, don't laugh, but zombies have taken over the khaki barn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, khaki barn customers all buy the same stuff. No. I'm telling you, these customers are not normal. Listen, Nikki, there's no such thing as zombies. What have I ever lied about anything? <clears throat> Let's see. When you missed your curfew last week, when you told your sister her fish died of natural causes, I have a very important pimple to deal with here. The weirdest thing just happened to me. <gasps> Pokey, are you okay? Okay, that was pretty weird too. Come on, the khaki barn's right around the corner. Help! Psst, where's Nikki? Hiding from the customers. What's going on? I don't know, but stay there. It's just us. Uh, what is this? The brave guys coming to save the girl? Because I don't need rescuing. Uh, hmm? Okay, okay, I do. Guys, let's get out of here. What about the clones? I'll distract them. You guys get the clones. Okay, Jonesy, run. Oh, man, not her, too. 
I was gonna ask her out, and now she's dead. Everybody's dead, bro. Okay, we don't know that yet. <laughs> Okay, they might be dead. Guys, I think I know what they are. This is just like that movie, Dead Morning Denver. They're zombies! Duh. Don't zombies create new zombies when they bite someone? Exactly, which is why we've got to get out of here. So if they're biting people, they're not dead. No, they're undead. It doesn't matter if they're dead or undead. What matters is that we're all safe. Wait, aren't we missing one of us? Caitlin! <laughs> Oh, she's not there. I'll try her cell. This cannot be happening. Ah, oh, voicemail. Come on. Let's check our favorite stores. Mm -mm. I don't see anyone. Albatross and Finch too? Wait, if they're all zombies, it's like 100% off sale in there. <laughs> oh yes! You're so scary behind that glass, aren't you? Yes you are! Yes you- Huh? Uh-oh. Okay! I, I was just kidding! <laughs> Run! Ah! What is happening to our mole? One of them just scratched me with her perfect manicure. I hate them. Okay, everyone think. What was Caitlin doing this afternoon? Wasn't she going to... Caitlin, so she should be safe. Yeah, as long as he hasn't become infected. Check it out. Some kid in the lobby bit my hand. Oh, hun, do you want to go? Nah, I'll be fine. It's not deep. Oh, I totally want to kiss you too, but not so fresh breath, sweetie. Psst, you have to come with us. Huh? <laughs> Haven't you noticed anything strange around here lately? <laughs> ah! Let's go. But he's fine. Trust us, he's not. <laughs> oh, be you zombie or human? Relax, Yoda. We're human. The zombies headed to the south end of the mall a little while ago. They'll be back. If we can get to the stereo shack... We can watch the news and find out exactly what's happening. Let's do it. But that store's all the way across the mall. We'll never make it. Don't play games with me, maggot. The rent-a-cop. Man, are we glad to see you. Hmm. Prove that you're not zombies. Say something. You wear your pants way too high. Okay, then. Ah! What is that thing on your face? It's just a zit. Hmm. It could be one of them. Excuse me. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Wait! It might not be safe. Don't be silly. I'll be right back. Okay. What do we know so far? Well, it's probably just a pimple, but we can't be too careful. About the zombies! We, we know a bunch of people look like they're dead, but they're not. They're trying to bite us. They're not afraid of lightsabers! I have locked down the mall, so until help arrives, we're the only chance we've got. Look who I found! Kate, I hate to break it to you, but Talon's not exactly Talon anymore. He's dead as a doorknob. Okay, just because he's a zombie is so not a reason to dump someone. Look how sweet he is. <laughs> What's the tape on his mouth for? So he doesn't bite me. Exactly! Plus, he has really bad breath. Yeah, eating flesh will do that to you. I am not bailing on him. Oh, by the way, they love eating jube jubes. I found a bag of them in his pocket. Watch. Talon, sit. 
We'll open the store. You, girl with the goiter, grab some weapons from the penalty box. <sighs> Listen up, I need everyone in the store. Now, now, now! You've got to leave that undead boyfriend of yours behind. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a guy who's cute and nice? Listen to me, soldier. I don't care what kind of fancy boy dog collar you have on him. The boy is dead. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, fine. Lock him out. I love you, Zombie Talon! Push, guys! They're getting in! <laughs> I can't believe it. I finally find the perfect guy, and he's a zombie! All right, people. The store is secure. Yo, let's find the news. The only way to destroy them is to knock their heads off. We're all going to die! This is a life and death situation. Can someone please tell me how I'm supposed to get through stage one of the breakup without ice cream? Yeah, I'm starving. <coughs> <coughs> what are you staring at? Um, were you this color this morning? Did you get bitten? No, just scratched. <gasps> You're totally undead! All right, people. Let's not panic. This situation is completely under control. Our reports indicate that they crave living flesh, have not much reasoning power, and seem to have similar behavioral patterns as they did when they were alive. Except that now they're harder to kill. Our sources say the only way to destroy them is to knock their heads off. We're all going to die! This is a life and death situation. Can someone please tell me how I'm supposed to get through stage one of the breakup without ice cream? Yeah, I'm starving. <coughs> What are you staring at? Um, were you this color this morning? Did you get bitten? No, just scratched. <gasps> You're totally undead! All right, people. Let's not panic. This situation is completely under control. Okay, Caitlin. Wait a minute. Is that an arm you're holding? It's not just anyone's arm. It's Talon's arm. <laughs> the arm he used to put around me at the movies. And now he's undead. <laughs> you don't think it's a little weird to keep his arm? Look, I just need to get through phase one. The eat everything in sight phase. Okay, then. Speaking of which, we may be here for a while, so we need to take stock. What have we got in the way of rations? Food, people! Food and drinks! I've got some strawberry gum. I have a half-grilled cheese sandwich and a bag of chips. I've got some insanely hot stickets in my pocket. I always travel with a little snack. Never know when you're gonna get the munchies. Good. That's real good thinking, son. I'm putting you in charge. Hold on to all the rations until I give you the go-ahead. Got it? Right on, Capitan! I will not fail you, dude. You mean we don't get to eat it now? But I'm starving. Worry not. A Jedi can survive weeks on his mental strength alone. I give him a few hours. And don't get any ideas about bribing me with, say, a video game. 
or anything in exchange for some food. Thank you. <laughs> totally bit me. <gasps> oh no. I'm so undead now. No fair. You guys are gonna be undead and I'll be like un undead. You mean like alive? Yeah, alive and out of the loop. Bite me, bite me, bite me. Ah. <gasps> <gasps> Yay. <sighs> Unbelievable. I think it's actually getting bigger. It's probably the stress. Or the large fries you ate yesterday. Hmm, fries. Do you realize I haven't had a coffee since breakfast? This is not good. How long have we been here anyway? Listen up! We're at war here! I've seen war before! I've seen rocket launchers take out my bowling buddies on the battlefield! I've crawled for 20 hours on my belly with nothing to keep me going but worms and dirt! So I don't want to hear any whining out of you babies right now! You got that? Very well. Now we'll have to formulate a plan of survival. Yes, you there. I think we have a little problem here. Give it to me straight, soldier. Kristen looks pretty hungry. For human flesh? I don't think she's looking for a power bar. Kristen's fine. She just needs some color. <gasps> I know! The Sparkle Scar! <gasps> oh, that is so cute! Okay, okay, I'll get my own. All three of them are infected. They'll all be zombies soon. And we'll be zombie chow. We can lock them up in the back room. You can't lock us up. You know, this is exactly what happened in House of a Hundred Corpses. These six unexpecting teenagers take pity on this creepy hitchhiker dude, and then they all get cut in half. That's it. Lock them up. <gasps> Wait! You can't do this to us! Get your undead butts moving, girlfriends. <laughs> Yo, can we have some food now? Can we have some food now what? Can we have some food now, sir? All right, you, lazy kid in the corner. Hmm? Divide up the rations. <gasps> hey, where'd the food go? Huh? Whoa. That was some serious suicide sauce. I thought I told you to guard those rations, son. Dude, you lost all our food? We're going to starve to death. Oh, I don't know how to get through a breakup without food. How could this happen? Um, let me guess. Sergeant Crazy here left Jude in charge? But I did score 10,000 on the game. Way to go, Jude. Okay, never mind. I've got a plan. Form a posse, get to a breaker, and turn the mall lights back on. Quiet, soldier! <gasps> I'm in charge here. Now. We're going to form a posse, get to a breaker, and turn the mall lights back on. <sighs> My security vehicle is parked outside. Well, I'm coming with you. Anything's better than dying here with the clones. And Jonesy's coming too. No way! What's the matter, Jonesy? Not mad enough for the job? <laughs> sure I am. But if I'm going, Wyatt's coming too. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, we're going to need some communications equipment. I powered up these walkie-talkies for the away team. The away team? Okay, you're enjoying this, aren't you? This is my top-of-the-line model. It has beep tones that you can program yourself, 67 channels, and a four- Yeah, uh, that's enough, son. It's up to us now, troops. We are going to cut a path of righteous anger through those hordes of maggots, and we are going to survive if it kills us. Is that clear? I said, is that clear? Sir, yes, sir! <gasps> Talon, it's me! Oh, are you still mad at me about locking you out? I have your arm. Talon, get back in here! But we still have a connection! I don't mind your stinky breath or even your pasty skin! Does this cart go any faster? No! Look out! More zombies straight ahead! Who you call a zombie? Show some respect! Oh, ow! He's got a pulse. They're still alive. 
Ow! We may be slow, but we're not dead yet, buddy boy. Oh no, what's wrong with the cart? Ah, looks like the old girls bit the dust. You mean we're stuck here? Oh, that's just perfect. Listen up. My hand's all played out. I'm done for. Save yourselves. But... Here are my keys. There is a breaker inside my office. You can turn on the power from there. No! We won't leave you! The captain always goes down with his ship. Now run! Yes, sir! Good to be back in battle, eh, soldier? Uh... Yeah, I guess. You want a piece of me? Ah! Come and get me! Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Come and get me, zombie scum! Come on, you undead animals! I'm waiting! There's Ron's office up ahead. Ah! Is that all you got? Is it? Ah! Oh, horror! Oh! Dang, didn't know he had it in him. Unlock it! There must be a hundred keys here! Well, pick one! You used to work for Ron, which one is it? How should I know? I only lasted a day in that job, remember? Guys, with the company! Uh, Hurry! No, no, uh-uh, no. Come on, come on! Uh, no cocky for three hours and now this? No, nope, uh-uh. Ah! Oh, uh, this sounds bad. Ah! Hold me. Okay, that does it. Snap out of it, Caitlin. It's just an arm. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Why'd you have to volunteer me for the suicide mission? I could be kicking it back at Stereo Shack right now. All you had to do was say no. Or would that have squelched your oversized male ego? I think you like my oversized male ego. Huh. Dream on. Guys, I think we're back on Ron's bad side. <laughs> a cop we know and love. Any idea how many there are now? I don't think there's more than, what, ten? We can take them. <laughs> All right, let's fire this baby up. Even bigger, dude. I. Ah, Kyle, let me go! Fear not. Trust the force, and it will protect you. <laughs> Where did I put my lightsaber? <laughs> I'm sure I left it here somewhere. Ah, he's gonna bite me! <laughs> are you okay? No. Even zombies are grossed out by my zit. Those dudes seriously want in. The perimeter is compromised. I estimate we have seven minutes before the gate breaks. Now, where is that lightsaber? Right. I'm going to die with the world's biggest sit, and I'm going to die single. <laughs> and I never had enough guts to ask Star out again. Back to our lead story, the war on the zombies. Hmm. Sweet. Our latest reports indicate that the city has safely quarantined all zombies inside the Galleria Mall. But what if we're inside the mall? If any people are still inside the mall, well, it looks like you'll probably die. Ah. Boy, I'd hate to be one of those poor suckers in that mall today, huh, Barb? <laughs> Guess we'll all have to go to the West End Mall now. <laughs> <laughs> There is, however, one crucial piece of information that any survivor in the mall should be aware of. <gasps> Authorities strongly advise survivors to... Whoa, the force is strong in this one. My lightsaber! Here you go, dude. Might want to be careful with that. 
Jude, that newscast was our last hope for getting out of here alive. Can't you take anything seriously? Not cool, buddy. Not cool. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I... Hmm. Whoa, that was weird. What's weird? Those dead on dead dudes outside the store are the ones who ate my insanely hot stickets. <clears throat> That's it! survivors in the whole mall it's hopeless wait there's someone out there on top of vegan island oh, it's star she's surrounded by zombies stars in trouble <gasps> star it's me jude i called to say that you're not gonna get eaten hang in there i'm coming to save you oh okay cool but if you get eaten on the way I just wanted you to know that I really like you. Excellent information to get at this time. I'm on my way! The clothes are out of the closet! Back! Back! Undead zombie! Dude! Jen, walkie-talkie. All right, dudes, calm down and listen up. Shopping malls were created not to facilitate commerce and encourage community spirit, but to provide teenagers a place to exercise their inalienable right to hang out, screw up at their jobs, and waste time! Gross! Where would we slack off if we didn't have the Galleria Mall to go to? Back to Wyatt's basement? No! You can say that again. What's wrong with my basement? It smells weird down there, dude. So, in conclusion, are we gonna roll over and let some undead dudes take our mall away from us? Heck no! So who's gonna kick some zombie butt? We are! Stupid undead, gray-faced, bad breath. No-brained, overeating, beady-eyed, inarticulate. Human-hating, flesh-eating zombies. So what's the plan, dude? See that pile of dead, undead dudes out there? Uh-huh. They're dead because they ate my insanely hot stick it. So your hot sauce is zombie killer sauce. Sweet. Nikki, Jonesy, Wyatt, you lure the zombie dudes to the food court so we can blast them with sauce. How will we get them there? They're hungry, right? Tell them there's a huge sale at Stick It. Yes. Jonesy, you guys can announce it from Ron's office. We're on it. But how do we get to the food court? It's just like that movie Cemetery in the Sky. All these business dudes were trapped in a skyscraper overrun by zombies. How did they escape? Through the air ducts in the ceiling. And so will we, dudes. <laughs> Hurry! I see a panel over Ron's desk. This just might work. Attention all zombie shoppers, have we got a deal for you. Free tickets for the first 1,000 customers. And I know you're hungry. Where did you get such amazing ideas? I've seen a lot of horror movies. They're inside the store! This way, we can climb the shelves! You're next, dude. I can't! I've been bit! Dude, no! Go on without me. I'll be okay. You're one brave dude, Darth. We'll never forget you. <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment since I was a young Padua. This Jedi Knight's not going down without a fight. <laughs> Caitlin, what's this doing up here? I couldn't just leave it behind. Give me that. It's working. They're starting to head for the food court. Come on, I'll help you up. Supplies for the hot sauce. 
Jen, Caitlin, you go get us water soakers and rope. Got it. Right on. Now let's brew up some sauce and kick some zombie butt. Catch you at the food cart, dudettes. I've got a chick to save. Points for not puking in her mouth this time, man. All right, dudes. The lunch rush is about to begin. There's lots of hungry zombies out there. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, Kate. Look alive. We need your firepower. You're not still bummed about Talon, are you? Mm-hmm. Exactly how long did you say this depressed phase would last? I'm not due to hit my angry face for another, like, four days or so. Caitlin, have you even considered what Talon was thinking? Turning into a zombie when you were just getting to know him? No. And how selfish was he to go all undead on you just before the prom? I mean, how could he do that to you? Yeah. You're right. I deserve better than that. Undead jerk. Hand me one of those soakers. This is gonna feel good. So long, chick stealer! Yes! Oh, I could do so much better than you! Hey, buddy! This is for wrecking the best gig I ever had! We did it! Good thing, too. We just used up the last of that madness sauce. Dude, you did it! You're amazing! Who knew that you could come up with such a brilliant plan that would save the whole mall? Thanks, man. You rule, Jude. Guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. More zombies! Not a lot of options. How about one last kiss? Sure. up our 24-hour monster movie marathon stay tuned for more whoa gotta stop staying up so late <laughs> wicked movies though dudes and dudettes what's happening well, look who woke up. Long night, brah. Up until 4 a.m. Yeah, well, you should get more sleep. You look like the living dead today. Whoa! What did you just say? Hi, dude. <laughs> How's it go? Ooh, that had to hurt. You okay? Yeah. You want to go out tonight? Yeah, okay, sure. Cool. 
Nice moves. I thought you'd never ask her out. Where'd that come from? Long story, dude. I had this really heavy dream last night, and... What? 